In this movie we're going to create a landform and then run a quick wind simulation over that landform really trying to use architectural um, software to uh, apply that to landscape and landscape architecture. So we're going to create uh, the landform very simply in 3ds Max. We're going to start with a plane. Uh, we'll just plot that out. Um, Let's make it a kilometer squared, thousand by a thousand. Give it a hundred segments by a hundred segments. And there we have it. Pretty simple plane. Now to that, we're just going to add a modifier. Select modifier, edit mesh. We're gonna have a look at polygon and then we're going to use the soft selection which is um, under edit mesh just tick that box there um, pretty pretty happy with the way this is going to um, fall off these soft selections and then um, just gonna create a bit of a sort of a few ridges so um, select your point you can see that soft selections on um, if you want to select more than one point just click the control button down on a Mac and we'll just sort of create a few uh, lumps in the landform Might just increase the fall off a bit, make them a bit more gradual, the rise. And then we just simply uh, choose the select and move, or Q is the shortcut, and, um, right, and then the uh, button comes up and we'll just increase the height of those shapes that we've selected. And once that's actually chosen, you can do it more directly. Again, if you want to choose multiple, you can do a few depressions there. Okay, big one there in the middle. All right, now we need to uh, export select this. So export, export selected. We'll save this as a DWG. And save it to the desktop. Okay. Okay. The next thing we open uh, Vasari. Now Vasari is in beta version. So let's open that up. Start a new. So that's what you get with Vasari to start off with. Um, a blank slab and then we'll open. Sorry, we'll import, import CAD, go to our DWG file which was saved on the desktop, open it up. Now Vasari has quite a few analysis tools but we're interested in the, uh, the wind analysis so simply analyze on the menu bar, then wind tunnel. And there we go. So I've been playing with some of these settings, but um, uh, it already gives you an idea of where the wind will be traveling fastest in this uh, new terrain. Um, so the, the, the preset here is uh, the wind coming from the south, um, and we can see how the wind will move over the terrain that we've set. Not a great deal of um, the sort of uh, the hills that we created. Um, you can see there the red going to move a bit quicker, and then the yellow, which is where the wind is obviously undisturbed. 
can play with um, the position of the 2D plane. Uh, we might just press 3D and see what results that gives us. This can sometimes take a while. And there you go, that's a far better picture than the 2D plane of the way that the wind will move over the landforms and where there'll be some areas of high wind. And this can certainly guide your um, design in terms of where to locate specific things. We're going to build up the complexity of this analysis, but um, this is a very quick snapshot of how you do it. Thanks.